Beneath Australia's tropical waters lurks a creature known to be the most venomous on Earth. Its sting causes agonizing pain and death. I had incredible cramps, shifting all around my back, my stomach. I couldn't get comfortable. I was in intense pain. I did stop breathing several times. It was just easier not to try and breathe. A lot of tremendous pain, yeah, agonizing pain. I certainly felt as though I didn't want to live. Ben Crop searches a mangrove creek in August. He's looking for an important early stage in the life cycle of this deadly creature. Aha, this looks like a good rock. It's very possible that there's polyps uh, adhering to this, but no way can I see it with the naked eye. So I'll have to take it back to the lab for Jamie to look at under the microscope. Dr. Jamie Seymour of James Cook University is intensively studying the little known behavior and life cycle of the creature. Jamie sees the sedentary polyp stage affixed to the rock. It reproduces itself asexually by budding off additional creeping polyps. A single stinging cell kills planktonic prey. After months of feeding and budding, the polyp begins its metamorphosis, the complete transformation of its body into a swimming stage. It's now a jellyfish medusa, struggling to break loose from the bottom and swim away. It slowly changes shape to a minute box jellyfish. The birth of Coronex fleckeri the world's deadliest creature. We seem to surmise so much, you know, to fill in all these gaps that, uh, the, that we don't know about the behavior, even, even where they uh, go to spawn. I mean, I've always surmised that they come into the mouths of the rivers, but uh, maybe not. Whether or not they swim up the, up the creeks and spawn, whether they actually spawn out at sea, who knows? We do know that the juvenile box jellyfish feed and grow and proliferate in the mangrove nursery, awaiting their time to leave, ultimately destined to become a threat to man.